Allen takes it, 94-71 here at Xfinity Center over the Loyola of Maryland. Greyhounds, this is Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Bruce, what'd you see tonight? So, I saw a, a, a guy who didn't get a chance to play last Saturday in his hometown who came out with a fury tonight, and that sticks. Yep. I encourage you to let him play after what happened the other day. Only got 10 or 11 minutes in, and playing with foul trouble. It was just one of those games. Right. But you could tell he was ready to go tonight. Tonight, let's see, he got 20. 20 points, and of course, and he got him early, too. He, he uh, was hot. Cowan was uh, excellent tonight. Cowan had 23. Daryl Morcell did not play, gave Wiggins the start. He shot pretty well. I talked to Daryl's uh, father, and he said that uh, he could have played. But obviously, uh, this was not expected to be a tough game, and it wasn't. Although we all had, a, Look, had their spurts. It got to 61-51, and there was some grumbling in the crowd. Maryland turned it on and ran away at the end. Everybody got to play. Uh, Reese Mona got in there, got a bucket. Will Clark got to play. Will Clark, we haven't seen much of. Trace Ramsey was out there. Uh, pretty much everybody, Travis Valman got off the bench. So everybody got out there tonight. Uh, you would have thought he might have played Tomayek and uh, Bender a little bit more, but yep. not taking sticks out of the game kind of stopped that. Right, and they played Lindo a lot. Right. So overall, they got two more non-conference games. One of them is going to be very, very tough, which is Seton Hall coming up in two Saturdays. Right, and uh, then they play Radford. So we'll get everybody in for that. Right, Radford on Saturday the 29th also happens to be national semifinal Saturday for football. The final four for footballs that night might hurt the crowd a little bit. We'll have to see. We'll be back here at Xfinity Center in a moment on the Viner Four Gates Post Game Show. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. The Ford Xfinity Center, Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, Maryland 94 71 over Loyola of Maryland on Saturday. They took down Loyola of Chicago. Bruce, what was your highlight of the game? Well, it wasn't didn't have to do with basketball. It had to do with Mike Loxley. I got a chance to talk to him before the game started. Right. And then you got the video up right away. Right. Have you ever seen a happier guy? I this guy is like he was walking on the scoreboard. I mean, you it, was know. A, it was a cloud nine night for Mike Loxley. Oh. Every time I get tired, I pinch myself and I tell myself I'm the head coach of the University of Maryland football team. He was right. so happy. See, I thought you were going to say one of the highlights was that sweater. Give me one second. We'll get it. Uh, the, without question, Wayne won the contest tonight. Uh, ugliest sweater contest. The, you know, the other highlight tonight, yes. although you're not going to see it if you weren't here, there was a probably 40-year-old woman with a six- or eight-year Karaoke. Doing the karaoke, and she sang. Sold the show. All of the songs. Her son was hiding in his sweatshirt. She was having a great time. It might be the most embarrassing night of his life, but that was fun. Since you've been gone, that was yeah. the song. And we're not going to sing for you tonight, but By we Kelly could. Clarkson. Thank you. And please don't sing. All right. Please I don't won't. sing. I won't. So I got a couple of questions. Shoot. You, you sat on breast row the whole night. I was around the ballpark. Uh, Cowan taking the ball to the basket, playing a little more primary. How do you think that's working out with Eric Ayala? You know, I tell you something, Wayne. I don't think you could tell much about tonight's game. You know, I really don't. I think that it was just, it was so one sided. And Will Likely. Oh, Will Likely. Make an appearance. Will Likely is in the house. You right. got diapers, babies, the whole. Good. Doing good. Who's that gorgeous girl? 
Yeah. All right, Will, we got to get your impressions of the hiring of Coach Loxley. You could tell how ecstatic he is and how ecstatic the fans are. I'm happy for Coach Locks, man. He was here when I was here, and uh, we built a great relationship. Uh, he's a great coach. taught me a lot. I know he's ready for the job. It's something that he always wanted, so I'm excited for him. Guys, well, take one step this Monday way. Morning, okay. like and watch the diapers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, so you were with Coach Locks for the first half? Yeah, he actually, um, it's funny because I didn't know he was coming. Well, we, we both didn't know he we was coming, so um, we ended up sitting by each other. And it was, that, was a fun, that was a fun thing to see Coach Locks again. I told some guys on, online that you might be on the postgame show. A couple of them wrote back, wrote back, greatest of all time at Maryland. You think of yourself that way? <laughs> nah, man, I just go out to have fun, man. I'm pretty sure I just I try to be one of the best players. But, uh, it's a, Will, that's you a did it all road. when you were here. <laughs> you really did. At every phase of the game, you were, you were exciting. You were a spark plug. And uh, tell us what Loxley brings offensively how he's progressed since he's gone to Alabama and obviously worked with some of the best players in the country his brilliancy man he's just a X and O's guy he's 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 so he's so he's so good um he's gonna bring a lot of energy out here as you can see uh just watching Bama games um you know he's gonna bring a lot to the table so like I said I'm excited and I'm pretty sure that all the Turb Nation fans are excited too so five or six years ago when you showed up here, we were talking to Randy Etzel, who said that you were one of the fastest guys he ever saw. How old were you when you realized how fast you were? Since I was, I was young, man. I was probably like about six or seven when I first started playing, um, just realizing that I'm just born past all these guys. You know, it just turned into one of those things. Like, I might, be, I might have a little speed on me. <laughs> you can't coach that. That's no, uh, God-given. Well, you know? it looks like you've got some things to take care of. You have anything to add for tonight? No, she doesn't. Where, Will, where are you now? What are you doing? I'm, I'm actually, uh, I just finished my first season up in the CFL with Toronto Argonauts. So I'm, I've been up there. Um, I have another year with them. So I'll be up there for them. Oh, that's super. I wish I'd have known that. I never, I didn't watch them. Have you adapted to the game, the in motion, and are you playing some offense? Um, no, I just quickly, um, I started out with defense and uh, returner. I, I got there late, so it's one of those things just trying to adjust to the game. Right. Are you back to being you after the injury? How long did that take? Oh, for sure, man. I'm definitely back. It took a while. It took a while, but um, it's safe to say that I'm back. Yeah, he was good. Okay. You know what? I don't think we're going to do any better than having Will Likely and the ugly sweater is going to make its appearance. Is that the ugliest sweater you ever saw, Will? <laughs> <laughs> Here, does that look does that look good on your dad? Say yes, he's a turp. Yes, he's a turp. Okay, good, Bruce. All right, that'll do it, Will. Thank you, babe. Thank you for having me. Best hey, of luck. Man, thanks. And See him in the CFL next year. I'm looking forward right, to that. We'll let Will get his diapers and bottle and all that, and we'll wrap this up. Thank you, Connie. Maryland takes it 94-71. Tonight is Tuesday, which means tomorrow night, what do we have on Turp Talk? We got a national championship coach on the show to lead it off. And uh, Sasha Sharovsky will be in. We'll be talking a lot of Mike Loxley. We'll be talking about the Flacco Lamar Jackson controversy. Oh, there's no controversy. Right. That thing's over. And you can catch that on 1300 CBS Sports Radio in Baltimore. And Mason will put that up for everybody on SoundCloud. You can watch that on TripTalk.com. For Bruce Bowser, this is Wayne Viner. Mason, obviously, off the camera tonight. We will see you on the radio tomorrow night. Good evening. Good night, everybody.